So we are using the uh, Java programming language to write our automation test cases. So if you are using Java, you can use a JRIT and TestNG frameworks with Selenium. Automatically, you can use so these two frameworks inbuilt. So by default, these two frameworks, you can use it. So that's the JNIT framework we are going to learn today. So what is JNIT? JNIT is a Java unit testing framework. So mainly use it for writing the unit test cases. So who will write the unit test cases? Developers, right? But even sometimes you need to write a unit test cases also. Testers also, sometimes you need to write a unit test cases. So the latest version of JNIT is JNIT 5. So first it started with JNIT 3, then JNIT 4, JNIT 5. So three, so the latest version is JNIT 5. So in this JNIT 5, any unit testing framework, so either, uh, so JNIT or TestNG, you have to use an annotation concept is coming. What is an annotation? So you have to write at the rate symbol before your class name or whatever it is. So that's what annotation means. Annotation provides metadata to the classes and methods. Annotation starts with the at the rate symbol followed by a name. That's an annotation. So JNIT 4 and JNIT 5 annotations are like this. So we are going to use JNIT 5 at the rate before all, but in JNIT 4, we, the same name is you know, called as at the rate before class. At the rate before class, at the rate before all, at the rate before, at the rate before each, at the rate test, at the rate test, at the rate after is called in JNIT 5, at the rate after each, at the rate after class, at the rate after all, at the rate ignore, at the rate disabled, at the rate run with, at the rate run with, at the rate suit, at the rate suit. So these are the JNIT 4 and 5 annotations. So at the rate before all, what is mean by that? Or at the rate before class, what is mean by that? So what is meaning of this? First, this block of code will execute once before executing any test method. Test method is represented by at the rate test annotation. Your method above just put annotation at the rate test, then that will be the test case. So before executing any test method, first at the rate before all or at the rate before class, annotation block will execute in your JNIT class. So if you create a JNIT class, in that you will take either a thread before all, a thread before each, a thread test, a thread after each, a thread after all. These are the annotations you will take. But if you take all these annotations, which one will execute first? First a thread before all code will execute. What kind of code you will put? Any precondition code for every test case. Any precondition code you will write in the address before all. The precondition code you have to write. So then the address before all is looks like this. Public static void method name parenthesis. Write the precondition code like uh, launching the browser. So opening the URL. Such kind of code you can place in the before all. So it, it will execute only one time. If we have multiple at the rate test methods also, one time only first this block of code will execute. Wherever you find the compiler finds this at the rate before all, first cursor will go here. It doesn't matter order. You put in the middle or in the last also, it doesn't matter. The main criteria is this one. At the rate before all is there that block of method will execute first. So then at the rate before or at the rate before each, this annotated method will execute before every test method. For example, you have multiple at the rate test methods in the class. This 
added before each teeth will execute first then it will go to test method basically till now we have seen a different scenario we are writing everything code in the main method only now we are splitting the code so before all you have to only browser code that is just one time launching is enough for us so if you want to write multiple test methods and this frameworks will help you nicely the frameworks will give you a lot of features easy to write the code and a reporting structure it will give and also the pass or fail criteria logs so all these features will be given by frameworks and this before each is each. this annotated method will be executed but before each test method before every test method execution before the before each will execute at that before and at that before each will execute so public void setup method this is the non static method but this one is before all is static method so that's the thing you have to catch if you want to use one variable in static and non static method what kind of variable you need to declare any variable if you want to use in static as well as non static methods so what kind of variable static 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 variable excellent see that's the concept so i want you guys to remember only one guy is remembering that's the other guys so just take your skills of java so this all java variable concept you are going to use here again so the before each before each so it will repeat every test method execution before first before each will execute then it will come to at the test method suppose you have at the test 1 and test 2 are there first before each will execute then comes to first test method then after first test method it will execute after at the rate after or at the rate after each annotation block every test method after this at the rate after each block will execute then again cursor will go to before each this block of code will execute again then it will come to second test method then it will go to at the rate after each so the cycle will rotate on these three before each test method after each again one more test method is there again controller will go to before each second test method and after each there there are two test methods how it will know which test method has to be executed first so based on the alphabetical order of the method it will go to that method first multiple so this you cannot change this is the fixed at the t capital everything same as it is you have to give only method name will vary because this is a different scenario this is a different scenario two test cases you are writing if you want to automate two different test cases or more test cases you will use add rate test method so that you can write add the rate test annotation below you write the method non static methods all add the rate test methods are non static methods public void method name curly brackets you can write all test steps public void test to test steps you can write multiple add rate test annotations but method name must be different make sure you write the method name differently so after class finally or after all so after all the test methods are over no more test methods are left then finally after all annotation block will execute like you will write a browser filling the filling the browser closing the browsers such so, such so kind of tear down activities something clean up activities you can do after all so at the end post your test case execution what you want to execute that code you can place here 
So this is the one time execution, this also, after all. But uh, before each, after each, we'll repeat every test method before and test method after. The test method before, before each will execute. Then it will come to test method. Immediately, this test method after, it will go to after each annotation block. Again, it will go to before each, then second test method, then after each block. So the cycle will rotate on these three if multiple edit test methods are there in the unit class. So these are the main annotations. So how can you ignore the test cases in JUnit? Either you can use Adrate Ignore if it is a JUnit 4. If it is a JUnit 5, you have to write Adrate Disabled. Then this test method won't execute. You can temporarily stop. So it won't consider for execution to put like that the Adrate Disabled on top of Adrate Test Annotation. What is Adrate Test Annotation represents? It is a test case. All are optional, but Adrate Test is mandatory. So unit and test are frameworks for Java programming language who are using. If different programming languages you're using, different unit testing frameworks are there. Those unit testing frameworks for a C sharp, you have a unit. For Python, PyTest is there. For Ruby, unit test is there. Like that. Programming language wise, you have a framework. So you are using Java, that's why two frameworks are there. JUnit is different, TestNG is different. So quickly we'll finish the JUnit and then we'll go for a TestNG, maybe next week or something like that. So let's plan this. What's the order of execution? If you take all the annotations, you took by address before ALU, address before HG. At the rate test to at the rate after each, again at the rate before all, uh, at the rate before each, at the rate test, at the rate after each, at the rate after all. So if you take all annotations, first the execution order is at the rate before all annotation will execute first. Then it will go to at the rate before each. Then first test method. Then after each will execute. If we have one more test method, again, controller will go to address before each. Address before all, address before each, address after each, address uh, after all, you need to write only one time. The execution before all one time will execute, but before each will repeat for every test method. Second test method is there again before each code will execute, then it will come to a great test, second test method. Again, it will go to after each. See the repeating. You will write a one time only, will declare and write the logic. That will execute, but every test method before and after each will execute. Every test method after, after each will execute. So finally, a great after all will execute. A great after all will execute. Okay, now, what is the features of JNIT? JNIT is an open source framework which is used for writing and running unit test cases. It provides annotation to identify your test methods provides assertions for testing the expected and actual result. You can compare your expected result and actual results with the assertions. Provides test runners for running test cases. Their test allows you to write code very fast and easy way. And it will take a very less time. So, and another thing is, so it has automatically inbuilt uh, test runner will be there. You can run as a suit files, a group of test cases you can combine and you can run all of them at a time. So one after the other you can run uh, 
So if run a suit and suit how many test cases are there, all will run. So that is the this generate features. So generate five adds extra new features and let's see the assertion. So that we have a assertion class is there and their methods. You have a lot of methods. Assert array equals assert equals we are going to use. Compares an actual value to an expected value. Assert not equals means compares two values to validate they are not equal. If you want to compare both values should not be equal, you can use this method. So because basically this is our static method. So you can call assertion dot the static methods you call. How you can call static methods of a class? Class name dot static methods, right? So that's what you need to call. So assert two validates that. The provided value is true, then you can use accept true. Accept false validates that the provided value is false. You can use this. So these are the mainly used uh, assertion. That's an enough for us. Okay. So let's move on the first test cases we'll write. Okay. So we'll write the first test case, and uh, we need to add so annotation in the our form.xml. You have to write it. So you have to include a unit five annotation, unit five uh, a dependency in the form.xml. So I'm going to include here in the form.xml I'll open. So I'll include unit dependency here. So here I will include generate dependency. So let's go and add the generate dependency here. So MEN repository, please do along with me so that it will be easy for you. Genit five, just type and search it. So Jupyter Genit, otherwise. Jupyter Genit. This is the Genit 5, Jupyter Genit. So, Genit Jupyter API, or so that, that one you can use. Otherwise, Genit. This one also you can use. Unit testing framework for Java, created by Rick Gamma and Kent Buck. So, this one, so you can use this one. See, this is a 4, but I don't want 4. I want so generate five. This is a generate Jupyter. So this is the one. So we don't want uh, RC ones and uh, this one, but we'll take a, a better one. Five point eight two. I can use five point eight. So this is the one. I'm pinging directly. I'll ping this one. So whoever not able to take directly copy from it, this blog. And so from chat and copy paste here. Control S. See, it will build. The generic five will download. See, this is the generic five. Scope is test. That means it is a test scope. Testing purpose, you will use this generic. Now, let me add one uh, package. I will add generic programs. Okay. Let me add all the unit package. So I have added all the unit. Let me show first program Heroku app login test. So Heroku app login test. So let me remove this and write. Web driver manager dot Chrome driver Chrome driver dot 
set up. So that's it. Simple, you don't need exe file concept. So you can directly launch the Chrome browser. So what I'm going to do, see this is the one. First step you have to do in the JRED class. So what you need to do, how to create a JRED class. So right click on the package. New. If you have here a JNIT, that's fine. If you don't have, suppose, how many of you having JNIT 5 here, JNIT test case here? In the right, right click, uh, create a package first. Package is, so JNIT programs, you create a package. This package you create first, okay? After creating the package. So how to create a package, I hope you all know. Right click on SRC test server, new. Package if package also, so this is how you need to go. Genet programs just give it like this. So I'm I already have that's why I'm not creating again. So then after that, how to create a genet class? Right click on the genet programs package, new. So you can see here genet test case. Suppose if you don't have here, go to other, set here, genet. That's it. Then you can see the unit test case, select that. Click on next. So on the package, you have to right click, select other, and uh, the select wizard screen, choose the unit, and the unit test case, you click on this, next. See, can you see here, unit five, new unit Jupyter five. Set up a before class, T down after class, set up, T down. Set up a before class is nothing but a great before all. T down after class means a great after all. Set up means a great before each. T down means a great after each. Whichever you want, you take. Not necessary this. Uh, which annotation you want, that annotation you take. Otherwise, leave it, okay? So as it is, you select that. So that's what I did. I selected all the annotations before all, after all, at the rate before each, at the rate after each, at the rate test, multiple at the rate test methods I have written. At the rate test, multiple tests I'm writing. At the rate test, at the rate test. See how many test cases I have written. So these are all the test cases I have written and uh, multiple at the rate test methods, right? So which one I am automating? So see my driver variable, private static web driver, driver I made a global variable because the driver I need to use in multiple annotation methods. Even weight object also, I need to use multiple annotation methods. That's why I have declared that, okay? Okay. Now, let's see which scenario we're automating. Even our blog also has given very, very clearly. You can see this. The clear steps I have provided and uh, under JNIT package, you can see this is the first one, but uh, if you want, you can practice that. Otherwise, this is the one. Heroku app website login scenarios. Open the browser. Open the URL, verify the page title and page heading. Click on form authentication link to open this URL first. So everything provided here. So I opened the URL. I'm asking this, verify the page header and page title. Verify the page header and page title, both. I will just stop here to 